Hello and welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corin Brad and I've got another festive idea for you today. It's a very simple folded tree card and it is just simply cut from one sheet of card. You fold the pieces down and it creates like a herringbone effect. And if you don't glue them, once it's been sent through the post, the recipient can just pop up the edges of them so you've got a slight 3D effect. I'll put a template in the description below that you can download so you can see how easy it is. But essentially, you just want yourself a piece of card that's a little bit smaller than A5. So this piece of card is nine centimetres by 13 and a half centimetres. Fold it in half, textured side together, and on the back, you want to draw a tree triangle and then you want to mark that triangle on the stem about a centimetre and a half on each one. If I line that up actually to the uh, line on the cutting mat, you can see what I mean. A centimetre and a half. You don't have to do it a centimetre and a half. You can have it at centimetre intervals. You can have it at half inch, inch intervals. The wider the gap, the less branches you'll have. So that's a very simple stylized one. This one here and this one here have obviously got very different looks to them because your marking is closer together and the angle is deeper on this one. But have a play around with it. Once you've marked your card out, the first thing to remember is at the top point, you don't mark an angle. You find the centre line between your last diagonal and you actually cut halfway from that centre line to the tip of the tree and this gives you a definite point to your tree. You then use a ruler and chop from the outline to the folded spine and you can do this with the kids because you can just as easily cut this with scissors as with a craft knife. And when you get to your last one, you just want to chop out the base because you won't be folding that down. You want to chop that out so that you've got a gap, as it were, in the base. Now, before you go any further, if you have marked this with a pencil, it's advisable to just carefully rub out your pencil lines because you will see bits of the back of this card coming through to the front and that's because you want to open it up grab your ruler again and again this isn't imperative that you do this but it does make a much cleaner fold and if you've got the equipment you might as well use it ball ended tool and a ruler find the bottom of each of those cut marks and on the wrong side just score it with your ball ended tool and try and make sure that those score lines are parallel which is where a gridded cutting mat and a gridded perspex ruler really come into their own let's just score that one flip your card over and then bring forward each flap and fold it down on that score line. Again, depending on the weight of your card, you might find it easier to um, use the edge of a ruler to fold your card up against, first of all. Turn that over and rub those creases down well so you've got your tree. And then I'm just going to mat this on a piece of red to highlight the apertures in my tree. I'm going to trim that down with quite a narrow border. And then I'm just going to get my A5 blank, score down the middle of it to make an A6 blank. And 
and fold it in half. And if you're new to card making or, or any kind of crafting, you don't, you, you know, you can start out quite easily with a bare minimum of supplies. A cutting mat really is a must if you're going to use a craft knife and a ruler. But then most other stuff can be done with a ball-ended tool or a pointy stick or other stuff that you find around the house. Just pop that in the middle of the golden blank and there you go. Very simple tree design card. And once you've mastered this one, have a go at doing it with smaller gaps between each cut. It takes a little bit longer. You need to take a little bit more care as you're folding it, but it really does produce quite a nice look. So I hope you like that. I hope you'll come and see us again very soon for some more ideas for Christmas. In the meantime, keep safe and thank you very much for watching. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.